Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. Uh, news flash. Some of the things we'll be covering. First, development in the tropics. Earth tilt. The equator to move to Kentucky. And some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, BP Earthwatch, Mike from around the world, Suspicious Observer, CNN, National Hurricane Center. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to begin with some things from my Patriot subscribers. And I'd like to say thank you, Leisha E. and Kim C. for extra support for my channel. I have a Patriot subscriber who says, Be ready for tomorrow, and that would be today, June 11. And then Friday, June 14, start. 10. Storm is here. Sorry, I can't verify, but believe it is real. And we have some information coming out, don't we, about the equator moving. Suspicious observers. We had a weak CME last night on Mars. They had an X-12 and a strong CME. We do have uh, off of the Florida coast a low pressure area that's believed to move into Florida in the next day or so uh, be across Florida next two to three days bring heavy rain when it comes out into the Atlantic it has a 20 percent chance of further development so that's going on now BP Earthwatch had brought out some interesting um, information about Voyager 1 and 2 um, satellites that the U.S. had sent into space decades ago and the kind of information that was coming back which substantiated Planet X, also a dark star. We would uh, call the binary star and then the records were shut down and we began to hear climate science propaganda i agree with that that was my major in college uh, life earth science and i recall reading the ecology and environmental study uh, textbooks and even i knew that that was not true and uh, we're coming up on another phase of a cycle the earth goes through 13-year cycles, also a mini ice age. So that's coming. And uh, I had some information on a study that was done in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, this was published in EOS to give a new understanding of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and Plate Tectonics. That was the title. It was a study that was published in Nature in 2021 now in 2015 and 2016 uh, some phds from the university of southampton and oxford uh, put out instruments uh, along a 1000 kilometer um, area in the atlantic ocean left their measuring instruments there for a year then collected the data which they uh, deciphered in 2016 and what it revealed is the um, crust area in the Atlantic Ocean, the ocean crust is much thinner than was believed and it is much hotter. Now that goes along with that information I received from God in 2020, magma is rising in all areas of the earth. And now we have this, CNN is bringing this out, and uh, the Panama Canal, uh, Panama area, a small island, uh, Gardi Sugdub, the people have had to be evac and moved to another area. 300 families. It's the indigenous Gunna people. 
And this is the first of dozens of islands where they are going to have to move the people, as I brought out in my last video, the people in Indonesia, uh, Jakarta, are having to move to a new area. And this is due to rising sea water. Now, what BP Earthwatch is bringing out is that the Earth, and I uh, mentioned that in my last video or so, tilting, what I learned in college was 23.5. Zeta Talk had some information about 31 to 33. BP is bringing out more of a tilt and has a source or multiple sources from the um, government who say that the equator is going to move and will be over Kentucky in the next, next 18 months. And that we will see as the e traditional equator in this area, across South America, Africa, into Indonesia, moves in the next 18 months, we will see sea uh, levels rise 400 feet in 18 months or about 22 feet per year and uh, no per month so it's 400 feet uh, sea rise level in 18 months 22 feet per month uh, over uh, the u.s and this is a transition diagram i've drawn so we know we have the equator, and that is around the uh, bulge of the Earth. Now the Earth is tilting this way, so the equator area is moving and will be over the U.S., Europe, into Russia. We will see a we see the sea rising. Uh, 22 feet per month over the next 18 months until about January of 2026. Now, we will see a climate change. Uh, we will have uh, in the equator area, you have rainforest. You do not have spring, fall, or winter. You have perpetual summer. 200 days per year of rainfall, average temperature of 88 degrees Fahrenheit or 31 degrees Celsius. Now the equator extends on both sides of it. We have the Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. So each of these areas is about 1,625 miles wide or 2615 kilometers on each side of the equator that means if we have the equator crossing Kentucky we will have uh, this new climate uh, model extending over virtually all of the US so this concludes my flash I love you, and I'll see you soon.